If this is how you learn in ChatGPT by typing in a question and then reading the answer of ChatGPT one by one, I have a better way that's more fun and faster to learn anything using ChatGPT that I will teach you in two quick steps. So the secret sauce in taking your learning to the next level is through voice commands. So you might be wondering, okay, how do I utilize this? So I'm going to be showing you two quick ways on how to do this. One way is via the App Store or via the apps wherein you install ChatGPT on your phone and then you can start talking with ChatGPT. And another way is via the browser because once we have this one, ChatGPT, you can add an extension via Chrome called Voice Control for ChatGPT. So I'll add the link in the description. Once you have this installed, you can now start conversing with ChatGPT. So I have a quick framework for you on how you can utilize this when it comes to conversing with ChatGPT and then having this framework help you supercharge your learning. So what I'll do is I'll just start a new chat with ChatGPT and I already have the extension installed. So step one is to ask questions about your chosen topic. So for example, investing, earning passive income, pretty much anything under the sun. And what you want to do is to be able to learn on the go or while you're doing other things. So what I'll do is let's just start asking ChatGPT with this prompt. Let's say I want to learn about index fund investing. Hey ChatGPT, I'm learning index fund investing for the very first time. And I want you to explain to me in very simple terms, what is index fund investing? Hello, it's ChatGPT, not ChatGPT, but I'm here to help you with your question about index fund investing. Index fund investing is a straightforward way to invest in the stock market. So let me stop that. And you see what's happening right now is if, for example, I'm doing chores or I'm doing something else, right? And I have let's say wireless headset, and which means I can have this conversation while I'm doing something else and be able to learn at the same time because it's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to doing this voice commands because there's no need for you to type and there's also no need for you to like read anything in front of a screen, especially if you have your phone with you. So it's a total game changer. So you could just continue doing this over and over again. If you have more questions, continue asking more questions about your chosen topic. So that's for step one. So if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I also have a free ebook for you on the top ways to earn passive income. The link is in the description. So step two is to be able to reinforce your learning, you can start a two-way interview with ChatGPT. So what we want to happen here is have ChatGPT interview us about your chosen topic. So step one was all about learning, but step two is asking ChatGPT to quiz you regarding your chosen topic, and then it will give you feedback based on your answers. It's totally, totally different from what we're doing in step one. So to be able to start this, just follow this prompt with your chosen topic. I want to have a two-way interview with you. I want you to ask me a question, then I provide an answer, then I want you to provide me feedback for me about my answer. This interview is about the topic of index fund investing and I want it to be entry level questions. Certainly, let's start with a basic question. Question one, what is an index fund and how does it differ from actively managed funds? Okay, so now let's try to answer this question. So an index fund is pretty much tied up to the stock market index. So it features a lot more collection of stocks for your investment. And as compared to the actively managed funds, actively managed funds would require a lot of transactions, which could incur also more costs. So in a way, index fund is more passive as compared to actively managed funds. Great response. You've highlighted some key points about index funds. You correctly mentioned that an index fund is tied to a stock market index represent. Okay, so let's stop that one. So the really cool thing is the best way to learn is to be able to answer questions. Because for me, yes, I do know what an index fund is and when it comes to investing, but it's really different when you try to verbalize it and then answer questions directed to you. And the cool thing with this one is ChatGPT will also give you feedback, okay? If you got uh, some points incorrectly, and the cool thing is, since it's a two-way interview, it will ask another question. Can you explain the concept of diversification and how it applies? Okay, so it just continues and continues until you're pretty confident with your topic and you can just jump from one topic to another. So if you want to further your ChatGPT learning by having the ultimate prompt generator, then watch this video next.